Welcome, McDaniel, to McD Terror TV's rendition of The Bachelorette, Love on the Hill. I'm Jordan Scott. I am Mandy Moreno, and today we have our lovely bachelorette, Sol Camanzo. She is 19. She is a sophomore. So, Sol, what is your major, and what are some activities on campus that you're involved in? Well, my major is biology. I'm thinking of switching into exercise science, but that's what it is so far. And I am involved in Gamma Sig, and I work at Res Life. Okay, so yeah. what do you do in your free time? Free time, homework, because that's <laughs> just unbearable and always just keeps loading. Um, I hang out with my friends and I like to sing and dance. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your past relationships. Past okay. relationships, um, I've been single for almost a year now. Um, that was my first. It was for five years. It was good, but... College called and had to yeah. go the distance. Uh, yeah. What do you believe? What do you think of long distance relationships? I don't like them anymore. No. Anymore. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're not nice. So, uh, what are you looking for in a guy? Um, I'm just simple, not someone that's too cocky or just someone who can make me laugh. Hopeless romantic here and there. Preferably taller than me, because I'm 5'9". <laughs> um, yeah, just, I don't ask for much. Just so like a Ryan Gosling type thing. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. aren't we all? <laughs> aren't we all? Describe your perfect date. I don't have a perfect date. I guess like, I don't look, I'm not very like picky on the person that I want, but I don't, I don't, I don't expect the same for me either. Like, it has to be vice versa, I guess. Like, he can't expect much from me, which is, wait, that just sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyway, my perfect date, I guess anything that's been put in effort and time. That's I'm open-minded. behind it. Yeah. Okay. Open-minded. But, so we know what you're looking in for like a Ryan Gosling. What are some uh, turnoffs in a guy? Cocky, like the player type, and you know, just like that douchebag. Yeah, okay. like every whatever girl like thinks. Like a Bieber. I don't like Justin Bieber. Maybe that's why. Yeah, most people don't. <laughs> Maybe that's why. What uh, is one thing you're looking for in a relationship? Honesty, and I guess being there for one another and just understanding each other's circumstances and situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now that we gauged you on Justin Bieber and Ryan Gosling, who would you say your ultimate celebrity crush would be? It'd be around, like, between Ryan Gosling and Channing Tatum, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Step Up. Yeah. That movie. Magic the dance Mike. Movie. Magic Mike. <laughs> Dear speaking. John. And speaking of dance, what is your favorite dance move? Dance move? I mean, when I go and dance, I just like, I just do whatever, you know? Why don't you show us? Okay. <laughs> Get to know you a little bit more. I mean, do you have music or something? I can't just... <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> So you're just chilling in the library, all okay. of a sudden a guy comes up to you mm -hmm. and he gives you his nice one-liner. What is the one pickup line that you would love to hear? Your favorite pickup line? Uh, I think corny ones are kind of funny. I just laugh at them though. I wouldn't take them seriously. Do you have an example? Uh, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see, you know. <laughs> I just laugh. Classic, you could probably what if laugh. you were in the library, but at a bar? I'd laugh. Still, Again. Still, same reaction. No. same reaction? I'm hard to get, guys. I'm not that easy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> um, what are you expecting from The Bachelorette? Uh, meeting great people. I'm just here for the experience, and if something comes about out of it, that'd be great. 
Are you nervous at all? Not really. A little bit. Are you nervous about who you're going to be oh, dating? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dating? Yeah, I guess. You're going on three lovely dates. Just set three? Up by, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Set up by Terror TV. Fun. We like to play Cupid a little bit. Those pub dates. Oh, yeah. we're going to go a little more. All out? A little bit better than some old-fashioned pub dates. Just classiness. So, if you were to classify yourself as like a type of cookie, like a chalk chip, like oatmeal raisin, or some, what type of cookie would you be? Mm. Maybe chocolate chip. Cause, Why? Because like you first, okay, let's imagine a chocolate chip. Maybe, let's not imagine the chips, you know? You can't see them, they're hiding. Okay. Okay. Invisible chips, I get this. Yeah. <laughs> you bite into it, you're like, oh, it's so melty and moisty. It's like, so it, it's nice. So okay. you get a nice view of it, and then you bite into it, you're like, oh, it's even better. Even. So, yeah. are you okay. telling us that the bachelors are going to have to bite into you? Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I'm even better on the inside. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Personality wise. Okay. Not literally. Don't bite me. <laughs> Are you familiar with the show Rugrats? Yes. Who's your favorite Rugrats character? Uh, I'm a little rusty on the names. You got Chucky, Tommy, Phil, Lil. Angelica. Angelica. Cynthia, the Dill. doll. Dill. Dill, the little brother. Spike. Spike, the dog. Reptar. The dinosaur. Reptile. Um. So you're asking me who like favorite character. Favorite character. I like Phil and Lil. Phil and Lil. The twins. Nice. Yeah. Or you, know, you can't pick just one of them. What? Why? I said you can't pick just one of them. Okay. Like a dynamic duo. Sheesh! I'm so bad at this. Like. <laughs> I, I didn't follow the show too much, so I know it's Not a real terrible. 90s baby. Well then, what is your favorite show? <laughs> My favorite show? Favorite 90s show? No, in Just general. show. Well... 90s or 2013. Right now, since... I don't, I'm not watching too much TV. I'm sure every, every other homework. student can you relate to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the only show that I've been actually following, I think it's Catfish. Oh. Okay. Just cause the whole it gets online dating. Yeah. It gets I thought you were gonna say The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. I know a lot of people are watching it. I want to get into it, but I just don't have the time. I was watching yeah. The Misfits for a while. Yeah. yeah. What about on the topic of like TV? What's your favorite movie? Mm -hmm. I think it's The Notebook. Or like, because of oh, Ryan Gosling. Is it because of Ryan Gosling? No, I just like the plot. It's, it's very romantic, and I have absolutely no unrealistic. Idea what it's a movie. Nicholas Spark movie. Yeah. Yeah, I still got nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Sue me. It's very romantic okay. and unrealistic. Yeah. Well, the uh, ending is. You know, it's maybe something like that could happen on one of these dates. Well, maybe. Say I'm a bird. I'm oh, a bird. You're a bird. <laughs> Why don't you like long distance relationships? I was kind of in one for a while when I was here with my first boyfriend. Um, and it just didn't work out. So I'm not willing to do that again. So you're from Rhode Island. Yes. And where was he from? He lived in Florida. Wow. Yeah. That's real far. Where, real far. And where is the rest of your family? Dominican Republic. OK. Yeah. So you got people here, here, and then, uh, and then uh, you're up, you were from up here. It's a pretty long story. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How about you tell us a little bit about your family? My family is awesome. I love them. Um, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Um, from my dad's side, I have a little bit of Spaniard. Okay. And my mom is just Dominican. And I have, from my mom's side, I have a brother and a sister. They're all older. I'm the baby. And from my dad's side, we're like seven, eight. Um, I'm the first girl. Second. Mm, okay. Yeah. Are you the oldest? I, no. I'm the second one. Second oldest. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. 
So, if your life could be a movie, what would this movie be about and who would play you? That's important. Honestly, I have no idea. I think my life is like a soap opera. Obviously, <laughs> Ryan Gosling would be the counterpart. Obviously. <laughs> or Channing Tatum. But who would play you? Or would you play yourself? i play myself. And if you had to pick an actress, who would play you? You. Aww. <laughs> there you go. Aww. I would, I would play, I would uh, act with Ryan Gosling any day. Okay. You see? Okay. So, what do you think the guys on The Bachelor, your bachelors are going to be like, seeing some of the guys here on campus? Um, I don't know, because there's kind of a lot of different kind of guys on campus. And I know, like, there's people today that I see and I've never seen ever Before walking around. school. I know, but I feel like I, I kind of see new people every day. Yeah. Maybe because I just lock myself in the library. Would, or so would you want to see new guys you haven't met before, or would you be comfortable seeing guys that you already maybe know a bit? Either or is fine. I guess if you're not a jerk or anything, I'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. What if, you, what if one of our contestants is some loser freshman? Huh? Um, I'll, I'll be friends with him. Oh. Hey. Friend zone? Have you ever been I don't friend know. zoned? Have I ever been friend zoned? Or friend zoned somebody? Both. Tell us both. I have friend zoned. Yeah. Have but you? just because I had a. Well, no, not because I had a boyfriend, just because I know where it worked out. Or because. Mm. And have you been friend zoned? Do you know how that feels? Um. Not just yet. Oh. Not that I know of. So, Saul, what is your biggest fear when going into these dates? Are you afraid just something catastrophic might happen? Um, not necessarily catastrophic, but just having to sit and have to talk to someone um, who's just really into themselves or just really boring or just awkward because then I won't know what to do. Or just have someone just really clingy out of nowhere, I don't know. So like if you propose <laughs> I'd say no. <laughs> Heartbreaker. <laughs> Friend zone. Friend zone. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us what are your, kind of like your pet peeves? What's your biggest pet peeve? Pet peeve? Um, in a guy or just in general? In a guy. <clears throat> Like I said, overly cocky, can't do it. Um, guy that smells bad, or a guy's on their phone Everybody like 24 likes good seven. Personal hygiene. Yeah. yeah. Or really jealous guy. No, like. Like controlling. Yes. Yes. Is that the word you're looking for? Yep. Like if you wave to another guy and then he starts freaking out and yeah. he goes and punches the other guy. Or like the yeah. kind of guy that Why are you waving you? at him? Yes. No, I'm not feeling that. The kind yeah. of guy that won't let you go out dressed a certain way? Yep. If you find a guy that you like on the show. Okay. And you end up with him. And you know how movies have a soundtrack? What would be the soundtrack to that moment? Uh. <laughs> the moment when you just like realize it's him. <laughs> Um, this is really corny, but it's like the only thing that just like came from the top of my head. Like the ending, the song, um, to Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> See, mine's Baby Got Back. What's the, yeah. uh, uh, this way. <laughs> What's the name of that song? What's the name um, of that Celine song? Dion. Celine Dion. Always love. Uh, uh, no. Um, Heart Will Go On. Yeah. Heart Will Go On. Yeah, that's that the corniest thing ever. But, that, but that's your song. That's what I just came up with. That's I'd probably be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh that's my god, the oh my first god. song that came to your mind. Yep. Okay. Well, speaking of first, why don't you let us into a little personal experience of yours and tell us a little bit about your first kiss? Okay. Um, I was 14, and it was with my ex boyfriend. The guy from Florida? Yes. Okay, just check it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we were at one of, at my friend's house, and okay. we were she just kind of like left us there. 
We Mask were sitting. Maker. We were we were like sitting in the living room, and um, I guess we were. It was like three months in the relationship. Taking it slow. Yeah, um, and we were just sitting there, and she had these dolls. My friend had these dolls, and he just kind of faced them to kiss each other. So I guess that was the cue, like, "Hey, I want to kiss you," and that's kind of how it happened. Thank you for being with us all, and thank you for being our first Bachelorette on Love on the Hill. Yes, thank you for letting us get to know you a little bit more. And thank you, McDaniel, for tuning in, getting to know Saul a little bit more. Tune in to watch her go on three dates with our McDaniel gentleman. Like us on Facebook, check us out on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and watch us on Channel 75. Thank you, McDaniel.